I'm Janet Folger Porter, Christian, conservative, Republican. I'm running for the state Senate because my opponent, Larry Obhoff, refused to pass the pro-life heartbeat bill for five years. I know he's running ads, actually claiming to be the most pro-life candidate while blocking the most pro-life bill. It's the very reason I'm running. I'm endorsed by Dr. James Dobson, Governor Mike Huckabee, and Gun Owners of America. I Voter Guide ranks me, Janet Folger Porter, very conservative, while Larry Obhoff was ranked somewhat liberal. Before you vote, you should know that Larry Obhoff not only blocked the most pro-life bill, he also voted to fund Obamacare. I'm Janet Folger Porter, author of the Pro-Life Heartbeat Bill, and with your vote, I'll fight to repeal Common Core and defund Obamacare. But what about all the endorsements, the commercials, and mailings from Ohio Right to Life? Sadly, an Ohio Right to Life endorsement doesn't mean what it used to. I was on the board of Ohio Right to Life for 21 years. Ohio Right to Life turned to the left, and I've, I've, I kind of felt like I got a dagger in my back. I really felt uh, um, betrayed. Ohio Right to Life you know, used to want to stop abortion, um, now they will nibble around the edges with regulations, but they don't seem to have any interest in actually stopping abortion. Ohio Right to Life is bragging about their progress, that after 43 years, we're only killing more than a million babies a year. Well, I've been telling people, first of all, not to support Ohio Right to Life because there is no longer an Ohio Right to Life. They've become Ohio Right to Regulate. That's what they're doing. Dr. Wilkie resigned because of the heart because of the betrayal that we had by Ohio Right to Life. A few years ago when I was attending the Citizens for Community Values banquet in Cincinnati, Dr. Wilkie was there uh, getting an award actually and uh, in his speech, in his acceptance speech, he mentioned that Ohio Right to Life had become so, um, I don't remember the word he used, but basically had become so corrupt that Dr. Wilkie told the audience of several hundred people to please not donate to Ohio Right to Life ever again. And it was pretty shocking since Dr. Wilkie was the founder of Ohio Right to Life. Um, in fact, founder of the, uh, the entire Right to Life movement. And I personally saw the corruption with my own eyes. I, I used to be on the Ohio Right to Life PAC. I'm still with Warren County Right to Life. I'm vice president of Warren County Right to Life. And it just grieves my heart that, um, that Ohio Right to Life has become really just an arm of the Kasich campaign. I'm very confused that some of the most pro-life members of the Ohio legislature have not been endorsed by Ohio Right to Life. They will endorse less pro-life people over more pro-life people. They've done it in many, many races this year. Um, they've endorsed people who are barely pro-life at all over longtime pro-life viable candidates. John Adams, one of the pro-life champions with a proven eight-year record, has not been endorsed. I hope we're not playing politics with baby killing and the destruction of human life. Janet Folger Porter in uh, Senate District 22, yeah. <laughs> pro-life champion, nation, nationwide leader on the pro-life issue, not endorsed over a guy who refused to help us pass the heartbeat bill. It's just it's very, very sad. Janet Folger Porter is interested in stopping the baby killing, not regulating them. And if I lived in her district, I'd be voting for Janet. Larry Oboff and the Ohio Senate have been blocking the pro-life heartbeat bill. They apparently think they know better than all of these national attorneys who support the heartbeat bill to protect unborn babies whose heartbeats can be heard. Now, the real conscience, what we really say when we go out there and say, hey, I'm pro-life, well, okay, then prove it. And this is our chance to do it. If you're a pro-life senator, then you must vote for this piece of legislation or don't tell Phil Burris that you're pro-life. And there's an axiom among cancer patients. If your doctor takes away your hope of life, get a new doctor. If your senator takes away the issue of life, get a new senator. There are no downsides to attempting this. We need to do more than regulate abortion. We need to end it. Join the team at JanetFolgerPorter.com. So here we now have an opportunity to protect human life. 
And I can assure you that if this bill passes, it will go to the Supreme Court. It will be rendered constitutional. This is our opportunity. Should we wait? No. No. Ohio right to life has got nothing to do with life now. They've left it. They've compromised. I also remember when we first started the heartbeat bill, um, I was trying to get state representatives to sign on as co-sponsors. And there was a state rep from the uh, Columbus area, Franklin County, who told me straight up, and I actually appreciated his candor. He said to me, I'm sorry, I'm for a woman's right to choose. I'm not going to be for that bill. And I encouraged him to, you know, try to keep an open mind and to, to look at the baby's heartbeat. And I kind of gave it my best shot, but I, I appreciated that he at least was candid with me that he's not pro-life. Well, come to find out, he was endorsed or preferred by Ohio Right to Life on their endorsement list. And again, I was shocked. You know, they are endorsing people who are less pro-life than other people that they don't endorse. There are sad situations where Ohio Right to Life has endorsed either the least pro-life person in the race or you know, someone who is equally pro-life is passed over because that person is not, is not the establishment's choice. If you are an anti-establishment candidate, you need not apply for an endorsement from Ohio Right to Life. It's very, very sad. Uh, they're not with us. <laughs> they're just not with us. I encourage people to look at iVoterGuide.com instead. The iVoter Guide looks at much more detail about these candidates, and I think it's a much more accurate, um, an accurate voter guide, iVoterGuide.com. This little baby was six weeks and five days old from conception when we made this recording. And, and I just pray that, you know, it will be, that, that, that Ohio Right to Life will be restored to the organization that used to really care about unborn children and didn't let you know, pleasing political you know, powers that be get in the way of unborn children's lives.